Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jordan Ari here, and today I have on this fabulous wig that I got from My First Wigs. This is the Jamie wig. I got this wig back in October, but I had dyed my hair waiting for it to come, so I never ended up using the wig, but I did make it look natural and cut the lace off and do all that plucking fun stuff to get the wig ready to wear and actually ended up giving it to my mom to wear and now that my hair is all cut off I got the wig back and am trying it out for the first time. I want to give a little review of this wig. So far today I've been wearing the wig for what time is it? Where is my phone? Found it. It was in the other room. It is 3.30, so I've been wearing this wig since about 10 a.m., so about five hours, a little over five hours, um, and I really like it. I feel like it looks pretty natural. I don't have a wig cap on because when I had the wig cap on, it was like way too light, and I just felt like it looked more fake than it already does. I was worried about wearing the wig because I feel like when, a, when people wear wigs, you can really tell like right in this part area that it's a wig, but I feel like for me, it blends pretty well and it's pretty secure in my head once I figured out how to tighten the straps in the back. In the back, they are like bra straps, so you can put it on the tightest one, which I do have it on the tightest one and it feels snug to my head, like I don't feel like it's going anywhere. I can flip my hair. And it's not going to go anywhere. But if I snatch it off, it will come off. <laughs> but, yeah. Also, I need to figure out what I'm going to do for, like, this part under here. Because when the wind blows, you could see it all. If I'm not anticipating the wind blowing, then this is good. I'm going to have to check out some YouTube videos to see how people are doing this. I really would prefer to not glue it. But if gluing it is the only method that's going to work, I will for sure do it because I like this wig. I feel like it's full and a lot of hair. So for those people who like to wear like five bundles, you will love it. I personally like to wear two bundles and that's plenty because my head is tiny. I don't need like a whole bunch of hair. Who's calling me? It's my mom. Let me answer. Hello? Can I call you back? Alright. Love you. Bye. Like I was saying, I, um, what was I saying? Oh, it's full. I've always been a two bundle kind of girl because my head is small and I don't need like a whole bunch of hair just like surrounding my face. I just don't. So it's a little bit full for my liking, but... I will manage. I'm sure I can go through and pluck some hair out like I did to make the edges and the part look natural. It does not really shed. I've been wearing it all day and the wind has been blowing and I've been having to get it out my face and like go like this. And it's not shedding at all, which is great. It does shed a little bit when you wash it, but that's standard for any kind of weave. I mean, it's weave, it's hair sewn to a weft, like if you're washing it, it's going to shed a little bit. But other than that, it's really good. It's very soft and the one thing about this wig that I don't really like, and I'll show you, turn around and show you. In the back, it's really hard to make sure that this is always like going under because it starts to flip on its own throughout the day. And because the hair is so short back here, it's just, for me, for me, it's hard to be able to make sure it stays under, like flipped under and not going sideways, left, up, right, down. I don't know. So that's the only thing that I do have to say about this wig. This is the shorter option of the wigs. I can't remember what the length is. So it either came in like 10 and 12 or 12 or 14. So if it came in 10 and 12, then this is the 10. But if it came in 12 or 14, this is the 12. But for me, this is giving me like 10 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a 10 inch wig right here. It was really easy to put on. I do have the band sewn down to it. 
it is a wig for beginners and it is very beginner friendly this is my first ever wig i really wanted a protective style for my hair and it's really coming in handy now that i cut off all my hair don't have anything to do with it because i can quickly just gel down my hair and throw the wig on this morning when i was getting ready i looked at the wig i was like yep i'm going with you today you're going to be quick and it took me like 10 minutes to get the wig on and get it situated and i was out the door which was perfect honestly and truly i could have styled my natural hair but my natural hair is dirty so i was just like mm, let me just go with something that i feel like is gonna work and i really like it i am happy with this option i'll probably wear my hair like this throughout the week this week i just want something different and it's nice to have hair on my head for a change and i'm not sure if i'm so in love with this because i have hair again or because i actually like the wig like when i had hair would i have liked this as much not really sure but i do like it i actually i think i'm loving it like i'm really feeling myself it goes with that filter on snapchat you know the one that goes over your face like that yeah it goes this wig i mean like i look like another person when it comes on because it really enhances your dark features so the hair is dark I got uh, my mascara and my eyebrows. They be looking so popping and so defined. And I just be feeling myself with that Snapchat filter. Here I am feeling myself with that Snapchat filter. Like, who am I? Who do I think I am? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just wanted to share what I'm doing in terms of protective styles. There will be more videos to come like this. Just me trying new protective styles and giving my feedback and opinion on them. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye! I stay up to the morning, but you better not play me. No, you better not fake me. Don't you dare hit my phone saying shit that you don't mean. I don't even know.